All right, here is an overview video of our mini tack harness. As you can see, we have it fully decked out right here. I hope you enjoy all the features of this vest. All right, I went ahead and removed the pouches and patches and stuff so you can fully see what this vest looks like. As you can see we have a top velcro patch for patches that you would like to stick on. It is a padded Y front harness which is great for dogs that do any kind of pulling work. It's very comfortable, keeps full range of motion. It's very easy to put on. Just go ahead and put it over your dog's head. It is a double buckle so there's no need for your dog to step through anything. Just click one side and then click the other and you're off. As you can tell, we have added several safety features, especially for night safety. You have a one inch reflective tape that goes around the girth area on the top of the harness and you have reflective buckles as well as this white trim that you see is actually glow in the dark. So great for night safety. You have a top grab handle, very soft, but very strong. We can extend this top handle to use for collar balance. As you can see here, I believe this is a four or five inch handle. Um, you also have the option to ask for a detachable guide handle, which is also featured here. As you can see, just make sure that you do send us the measurements for the handles so that we make sure we get them the right size. We have added two attachment points, one on each side. On the left side we have a small D-ring for stuff that already has clips on it such as keys. On the right side we have a clip which is great for dog tags or anything that doesn't already have a clip onto it. That way you can keep it close and make sure you don't lose any small items. We have the tactical part of this harness which is our molly webbing. You can put any kind of molly pouch on here. We recommend the two row pouches. Um, you can fit a three row pouch on here as well but two row pouches are a great size in our opinion and work great with this vest. For measurements you want to go ahead and get the girth measurement. Make sure this is around the largest part of your dog. Uh, this one kind of slipped a little bit when I was doing it. Next, you want to find the chest bone in the front and go ahead and go back in a diagonal an angle to where you took your girth measurement. You want to go ahead and get your neck measurement. This is just a normal neck measurement, so right where the collar would sit. And then lastly, find that chest bone again and go underneath the dog through their legs and again stop right where the girth measurement was taken. So this is kind of a behind the scenes video I just wanted to include. You can see in several of the other videos that Elsa is panting really hard. It's not because it's like 200 degrees or anything outside. It's actually a really nice day. We were just playing a lot of fetch in between all the takes to reward her for being patient, standing still. Um, as you can see, we have the harness decked out here with the pouches. As you can see, it's a very stable harness Wait. with the uh, wide or double girth strap on the bottom and the wide front harness. Makes it really stable for pouches and stuff. Okay. Uh, do take care whenever you have a vest with pouches that you evenly distribute the weight in each pouch. It kind of takes some trial and error and a little bit of time, but it'll save some frustration for making the best go cricket. Well, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about all the features of our mini tech harness. Please comment if you have any questions. Like this video if you would like to see more and subscribe so you don't miss any more of our videos. Thanks for watching.